Hi everyone and welcome back to Rival Stars. So, oh, look how cute it is. Also, my farm's name is Fox Love Estate. Um, by the way, something really cool happened. Hey, Papa. Let me show you. Um, wait, first I'm going to collect my payouts. I haven't played this game in quite a while, but I have kept up to date with what is going on in development. Um, and then I saw this. So, we've got a new... Um, wait, let me show you first. So, we've got this, right? So, we've got our normal, old, customizer layer. You know, this type of photo mode. So, you can do, like, trotting and noble and gallop and garden and whatnot, okay? Um, you know, okay, so, that, we all know this. Okay, also, that's a very pretty horse. <laughs> um, so, we know that. Okay, then when we go to stables, so I've sent a, you see I don't have any horses, this is a new count. Um, so when you send a horse to pasture, this is what happens. How cool is that? So you can have quite a few horses in your pasture, as you can see, scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, so when you've got like a, like a really low level horse that you love, um, you can put them in here and not in your stable for extra space so I think that's pretty cool because this one this one is my starter pony and I will never ever get rid of him he's just so cute okay so you can enter a uh, photo mode here and then it'll pause um, almost like Nvidia Ansel and you can go all around him and then set your your, sta your staff, so that's a depth of field on, but you can set your focus, so it's a little bit, get in there, let's see, let's do it nice, that one, let's do a thumbnail, um, and your aperture, you can play with that a little bit, move it back, lens focus, let's focus on him a little bit, make his backside a little blurry so he pops out the screen and obviously now you're tilt and whatever I don't really bother with that because I don't want that and put it back on fifth if I can't get on 50 it's gonna bother me 50 okay um and then your field of view there you go adjustments so you can have set your exposure make it a little brighter or darker and put it about there and make it pretty light saturation like it's screaming or grayscale that's actually very really pretty if you put this in photoshop and make it a little bit more grayscale maybe contrast it a little bit oh wow look how pretty that is okay so hide ui oh, everything is like like at the bottom tab switch the camera um h is hide the ui hide ui meaning these reset page take photo Okay, so I'm just going to hide this and then F12 for the um, take photo with, what is it, um, with Steam. So I'm gonna, just going to put the saturation back a little bit because I want the color not too hectic. And there. You can have your filters, like none, sepia, all these. This looks like a painting. Obviously paint. Ha! Um, Filter intensity, so you can have like a rainy day, but just, just, or paint, just with a little bit of texture. Uh, masking, that's cool. You can have him there, and then none. Your vignettes, you can pick your focal point, but I'm not gonna do that now. And your full grain, it gives it like a little filmy, grainy thing. I don't know. I've never used that. Um, I don't know. Don't know why. Logo, classic dark. Um, the logo will always be there because it's their branding. But you can make it lighter if you don't like uh, the look of it. And then you can choose the position of your logo, like wherever bottom left, top left. Logo size, or you can make it teeny tiny. And then the frames. You can choose the frames of this. That's very cute. There. there and the grid. Now the grid is cool. 
if you want to do your rule of thirds type of thing, like just like all the professional use. So for me, I know for a fact that I'm going to use this as a background for my uh, thumbnails. So probably I'm going to flip it and then put the text on there because my little logo is at the side there. But I'm not going to flip it now because I do like the angle of this and I can make him pop out of the thumbnail screen. So then it shows the grid. Okay, I'm just going to put the grid off and I'm going to hide my UI and take the screenshot. Let's bring that back. Appearance. Okay, so um, if you have more horses in your pasture and you want to hide all the horses in the background or whatever, then you can. Otherwise, you can make like cool little scenic spots and uh, yeah. The only thing with this is um, when you choose the horses you want to see, you can't choose his behavior. So you will probably have to wait for something to happen or some really cool thing if he wants to lift his head or not. Then, yeah, you'll have to wait and basically sit here and wait for him to do stuff. That is the only thing that I have a problem with. Um, they could have maybe implemented, I don't know, you know, with the, like with the other photo things, uh, you know, poses or whatever. But if you just want to check out your horse, I mean, this is beautiful. So see visit horse I haven't done that yet oh and this is stats and then normal single horse photos then all these photos uh, photo moments are still in here so it's just stats with the rider please no and oh there's also a free roam let's go have a look at that so you can ride your horses in the pasture oh also <laughs> let's look at this okay hopefully I can do this now I can't remember how to... There we go. Press Q and you go into this type of thing. How cool is this? Oh, I can't wait for the photos. Okay, so let's check appearance. Um, I want to see... Okay, I can take away the jumps and I can remove me and I can remove the tack. There we go. Maybe I remove the jump too because why not? No, I don't know. What do you think? Well, this is a way to get away or like out of that whole wait for your horse to do stuff thing. Okay. That is so cool. Let's remove the jump. I don't know if I like the jump. There we go. Then you can do all, all your normal things. A little there. A little saturation. Contrast. Freaking me out a little bit. Oh, and your normal overlays or whatever. How cool is that? Uh, let's just put the jockey back on. And there we go. <laughs> so if you want to take a photo of your favorite posture pony, then you totally can. Oh, this is very cute. I really do like this. It's gone. And then you can just ride your horsey. I wonder if we can go like. How cute will this be? Like in here? You can literally ride anywhere. That's cute. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Oh. Oh, let's see. Yo, cool. This is such a cute photo. Okay, I think I found my perfect thumbnail. This is just so pretty. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry I went off on a photo tangent again. I love photo taking photos and having a photo mode in a game. It, it's it's a whole new 
type of play for me. Uh, now I have to go breed horses and get all the coat colors. So yeah. Also, I do have an Instagram uh, where I take mostly arc photos, and I'll probably post these guys in there as well, just you know for fun. Uh, but please do tag me. My I'll pop it my little Instagram handle here somewhere. So please tag me so I can have a look what you guys do. Um, yeah. And I think that is that. If you like this, please comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.